So today I want to try to do a full walkthrough of how I catch these halibut. Right now I'm sitting in 30 feet of water, but as soon as I launch, I set up my sabiki, or I usually have it set up. If you don't know what a sabiki is, this is a sabiki. It's basically a five, six hook deal used to catch bait fish. I like to use this like flutter weight because I feel like it puts a better action on the sabiki. I basically just paddle out I typically stay pretty shallow, but I was setting up my line and I kind of drifted out. Um, and I just paddle around, you know, 20, 30 feet with this sabiki rig off the side, um, stopping to kind of just jig it up and down when, I'm, when I mark bait on the screen and just looking for bait fish. Um, on this other pole, I set up just an anchovy on a three-way swivel sitting on the bottom just because sometimes it takes a long time to catch bait or find bait. So I figure in the meantime, might as well troll for a halibut or whatever else down there. So that's the setup. Once I catch, you know, four or five bait fish, then I'll go to a little deeper water and start to slow paddling for halibut with live bait. Today I'm going to try to do live bait and uh, frozen anchovy, and I'm going to back pedal. So I'm going to run two rods. We're getting dragged through the kelp. <laughs> oh man. I think we're out of the kelp, which is good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, like I had mentioned, I was just using my sabiki rig to catch bait. And then I had on the bottom, I was just trolling a, a frozen anchovy on a three-way swivel. And something took it and ran it into the kelp. So we're kind of at a standstill. I think we've gotten through most of the kelp. But whatever it is, he's moving the kayak. We're for sure cruising. Luckily, I don't think whatever kelp we were in wasn't a heavy duty kelp. And I've got braided line on it too, so I think the braided line definitely helped. He's making a run out to sea. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, we're getting close. We're gonna see color here soon. Never mind. I saw color briefly. And then he just jammed. <clears throat> I'm afraid whatever that is is creepy looking. Oh, it's a giant ray. Look at that thing. Holy cow. Giant bat ray. 
What a fight, man. I was hoping I had my first white sea bass. Ah, oh, that's awesome. There he goes. <laughs> he wasn't having it. Jeez. How about that for some excitement? <laughs> oh, that was cool. Well, it's a pretty exciting morning. <laughs> that was like an hour of being out here hooked into a whatever kind of ray that was. I don't even know what that was, but that was pretty fun. He's towing me around. Just really wish it was a sea bass. Oh well. So now that I've caught bait on my right side, I'm trolling a live bait on the bottom. And then on my left side, I'm trolling a frozen anchovy. And by trolling, I mean, I'm just cruising. I'm not going fast by any means. Basically just enough to keep the lines tight. Um, yeah. That's it. That's kind of the recipe for success. I just had something right now hit my setup. I mean, it hit it hard and it ripped, the, it broke the whole setup. So I don't know maybe if it was teeth that cut it or if my knot tying was poor. But yeah, something just hit really hard. Took the whole setup, took the bait. So they're out here. So that's basically it. Once you have bait, I just paddle around for the next six, seven hours. I'm just gonna be sitting here paddling. So, I'll touch back when I got a fat halibut on the line. Over and out. All right, ladies and gentlemen. This is always the nervous part. I don't know if you can tell him I've got a halibut coming to the surface. I don't even know if he's legal. Might have to flop him up. He doesn't look like a legal halibut. If I gaff him, then he'll die, and that's not good. Yeah, he's about a 20 incher. All right, little buddy, get bigger. guys I was on my way in and we're hooked up I don't know it doesn't feel big at all I don't know what it is it's a halibut I've never gafted one from this side so <laughs> it's gonna be interesting and we're on top of my other line so Jesus. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't get wrapped up in my other line. That was wild. All right, I'm gonna bring him over to this side. <sighs> Make life a little easier. Get a better action shot too. All right. He wasn't fighting at all. And as soon as he saw the boat, you guys saw what happened. He didn't like that. I don't know if he's legal.
he's legal, he's barely legal. I'm just gonna flop him up onto the boat. I don't think it's a legal halibut. I don't want to poke him if he's not. Might be legal. Last second, oorah. Yeah, it's probably 24 inches. That's what I'm talking about. I was about to get out of here. Oh, he's like 28 inches. I should have gaffed him hard. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. On the way in. About to call it a day. That is what's up. Ah, oh, I love it. I freaking love it. Halibut for dinner, baby. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Yeah, look at that guy. That's a good fish. A pretty horrible job of explaining that. And if I did, I'm sorry, but that's the gist of it. I mean, I get on the water, I immediately try to find bait. I think I just got bit. Immediately try to find bait, um, anywhere from 20 to 30 feet. Having a fish finder makes a huge difference. Being able to know you're on top of bait and just throwing it down and catching you know, one after another. If you don't have a fish finder, it's still totally doable. Just come out here and troll around blind. Um, once I get enough live bait, you know, I, I got a 10 ounce weight to a three-way swivel. I keep it low, I keep my weight to the swivel about a foot and I do like a three to four foot leader to the bait. And I basically just slow troll. Today I was doing two poles. In the beginning I was doing uh, an anchovy, a frozen anchovy with the same setup on one side and then uh, on the other side, live bait. Just slow trolling, paddling slow, letting those weights just kind of bounce on the bottom and I'm just dragging my bait behind it. Um, early in the day, I had three knockdowns one of them, which I actually had a fish on. This is freaking me out. And I, I, I didn't set the hook quick enough. It's just the weight. And it basically spit it. I, could, I felt it spit it and, and get off. So it was a pretty productive day. Um, if I would have not, in, in the beginning, there were some opportunities that I, I think I dropped the ball. And I probably could have had one or two more fish if I didn't screw those up to start. But I'm happy with today. So yeah, that, that ray that I caught this morning too, that was pretty cool getting towed around by that thing. So, but yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm on the fence about fishing tomorrow. I guess I'll kind of make that decision tonight. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you for watching.